actually. I was a cheerleader for a, a, less than a year for like one basketball season um, when I was in high school. I think more so because it got me out of the house. Um, I was always grounded and engaging in an extracurricular activity was deemed okay by my parents and so then I could actually leave my room <laughs> to go do something, get some fresh air, be outside. And I think that's really probably the main reason I did it. But I was not good at it. It was terrible. I'm also just not built for it. I'm too, I don't know, gangly or waif-like or something. You have to be really strong. Um, I think women are harder on everything than men are. But I think grown women in particular can be, for some reason, really um, hateful towards me. But teenage girls seem to be, they accept me much more. When I get tattoos, I don't necessarily think them out. I don't put a lot of a lot of thought into them the way some people do. There's sort of more impulsive purchases. I got that after I did, I completed the first Transformers, I got the Marilyn Monroe tattoo. And I, I don't know, I've always liked her and like I said, been intrigued by her because she created a character that she lived behind. So she was always playing a character within a character in all of her movies, which I think is the psychology behind that is very interesting. I didn't want to be literal. I didn't want to put someone on my arm that I was I wanted to emulate, like Ava or someone or Liz or whoever. Yeah, it could have been Liz. Maybe I'll get, I'll get them around. I'll get like a a flower, of famous faces on my arm. When I got the call that I'd been offered this spot to host SNL, I, you know, I didn't really want to do it because I'm so terrified and and just I I become frozen when I have to speak in front of large crowds of people. But obviously you don't say no to something like that because it's an unbelievable opportunity. So I did it and I went, I'll never watch my episode ever. I can't. That gives me a panic attack thinking about it right now. Maybe like after I've had children and there are just so much and there are more important things in life, then I'll be able to sit back and watch and go, ah, who cares? I would say I'm a cat person, even though most cat people are so strange. People that admit to being cat people are always so bizarre. Like, whenever I go to work out, my pants are always covered in cat hair. It's so embarrassing. Like, I'm that person. I'm that lady that goes out with cat hair all over her pants.